Hello everyone, my name is Yan Sherpa and this summer I got the opportunity to work at the Histology Core with my mentor Blaze. The title of my project was the development of virtual HNE &E staining technology for histopathological diagnosis. Um, before I talk about the histology workflow, I would like to talk about histology itself, uh, which is the study of tissue and its structure. Uh, within histology, uh, we have HNE &E staining, which is a widely used method for disease diagnosis. Here we can see on the left that we have a HNE &E stain normal mice lung. Uh, which has more uh, open air sacs and is less compacted compared to the one in the right. Uh, we can, uh, through this, we can see how like H&E staining can be used to uh, display the uh, underlying tissue morphology for further analysis. Uh, so the bigger picture of the project is to have a fast histopathological diagnosis by uh, simplifying the H&E uh, workflow. And we can do this by integrating machine learning uh, to transform the autofluorescent images or unstained image into an image that's uh, equal to the bright field H&E stain image. So my specific aim uh, for the project was to generate autofluorescent and H&E stain, stain images and compare the impact of paraffin on the image quality and uh, based on the image quality, create a virtually stained image using machine learning. So uh, here's the workflow. Uh, we can see that the tissue was fixed, processed, uh, embedded into a paraffin block and sectioned. So after the uh, tissue sectioning, the autofluorescent images of both the uh, paraffinized and deparaffinized tissue uh, were taken using the uh, bright field microscope, uh, which then went to the H&E stain staining machine uh, for the H&E stain images. So uh, here are some of the images. Uh, the first row shows the autofluorescent uh, images of the uh, paraffinized slide. Uh, through different uh, fluorescent channel. And the second row shows the autofluorescent images of the uh, deparaffinized slides. And uh, we see that the uh, paraffinized slides had better uh, autofluorescent image quality compared to the other one. And here on figure two, uh, we have the bright field image of the paraffinized uh, slide and the bright field image of the deparaffinized slides. Uh, it, it shows uh, that the deparaffinized uh, slides had uh, better uh, better bright field uh, image quality and it's very much similar to the final image here on the right, which is the H&E stained bright field image. Uh, and our main goal is to have a virtually stained image that's very much similar to this one. So uh, from here, what we could do is use uh, machine learning to subtract the background uh, from the paraffinized slide uh, to create image uh, similar to the deparaffinized one. And we can use that uh, deparaffinized slide to virtually stain the image using uh, machine learning. Uh, through this, uh, we will have a virtually stained image of the tissue uh, in its most uh, natural state, and we'll be saving time, uh, which in turn will lead to a faster histopathological diagnosis. Uh, and lastly, I would like to thank the Histology Corps and the uh, Pumas coordinator, Suda and Emma. And also I would like to thank my community colleagues for informing me about this uh, awesome summer internship opportunity. Thank you.